Hi, I'm Sophie. <laughs> My username on Wattpad seriously underscore phantoms. Uh, I know today recently reached 1 million reads on Wattpad and this is a way to celebrate kind of with all these questions from you guys that I'm going to be answering. My trusty sidekick Meg is um, helping us out and reading the questions and recording. Yep, so I'm really props to that. Meg. Go me. So how is it getting this book published going along? I definitely do want to publish. That is definitely on my mind. Uh, I have sent it to a couple agents. It's been declined in those places, <laughs> so it's starting off great. I've been editing for the past uh, couple months. So. I really want to have it finished, all of the editing, by the end of summer. And then that's when I'm actually going to start sending it out to all the agents that I can find. And that's when I'll really be pushing the publishing. And if it does get published? Will there be a different cover? Unfortunately, I think there might be because there's always copyright issues. Also, the publishing company, they kind of determine that stuff. Did you ever feel like you didn't like your story? The version that's on Wattpad right now is the completely unedited version, which is my eighth grade writing, and that was two years ago. So it's very, very rough. It's a very rough version of A Note Today. Um, I do like the characters. I do like the plot. I just don't like the writing itself. <laughs> but where it's at right now, in the stages of editing, I do like it a lot more. If you could have superpowers, what would it be? And it can't be immortality. I mean, I, I might do like invisibility, because you can do a lot with that, oh, you know? True. You know, I would be Violet Ooh, from The Incredibles. Okay. I have a good question. Oh, okay. Ooh, we got another question oh, coming okay. in. Okay, so if you were invisible and you knew that like you wouldn't be caught, like, I don't know, like stealing, would you do oh. it? Depends on how intense the stealing is. If it, if it was like robbing a bank, then I wouldn't. <laughs> but if it was like, um, uh, if I was like, <laughs> if I was like really hungry, and I was like passing by like a McDonald's or something, then maybe I'll slip in the back and grab a couple french fries. But that's about it. <laughs> I, I would try to stick to like the helpful things. What inspired your story? Uh, we were not allowed to speak in any of our classes, <laughs> which sounds really brutal. Um, I don't know how other elementary schools did it, but um, so what we would do instead, we would write notes. To each other we'd like rip off like a little slip of like a little piece of paper off of like our binders or whatever instead of uh talking to people i like to write things to people because when i'm writing i feel like it comes out better because if i'm talking as you can tell right now <laughs> i'm having a hard time was there a person or an incident probably that inspired your story <laughs> well <laughs> No. <laughs> a lot of movies, TV shows, you name it. A lot of books that I'm like, ooh, yes, I want that. And then I'm like, okay, I'll write a story instead of actually getting it. So. <laughs> Which character did you have figured out first? Charlie was figured out first. Um, then I kind of was like, okay, I need somebody who obviously writes the notes, so. What changed the most from the first version slash idea of the story? There's a, most of the chapters are the same. It's the same plot. It's the same character personalities. Um, the descriptions of people are a little different. A couple ideas. Uh, some. There's some changes about Shane. There's some changes about Malcolm. I tried to steer it away from a love triangle because I don't like those and I didn't intend it to be one of those. Love square. Yeah, it's a weird love. It, it's like a weird love pentagram. <laughs> That's the wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to cut it down to instead of 80,000 words, which it was before, down to 50,000 words. And I'm on my way. I think I've cut like 10,000 words maybe. Um, I've cut two chapters. I've kind of combined them into one. What was your favorite part to write? One is when the note writers revealed. That needed to be probably the most perfect part because that was probably like the climax like holy crap who's it gonna be? 
and I also really like the last chapter. How did you come up with the names of your characters? Fun fact, my mom did not really know that I was writing a book. She knew I have written books, but she never really knew what they, they were about because I didn't really talk about them. And I came up with Theodore slash Teddy's name, um, like probably third or the second name that I had written. Um, and later on, when my mom was reading it for the first time, she told me that I was actually going to be named Theodore if I was a boy, <laughs> which I had no like I wouldn't have not been told that and it was it was it was creepy it was like some kind of weird psychological thing going on um I just like the name maybe it's because it's like like it kind of it's like kind of like a cutesy name but it's like you just kind of want to hug them you know like a teddy bear. yeah it's like a teddy bear so like you can't go wrong with that name it's like a little it's like a little cheesy I like the name Charlotte a lot I don't know where it came from. It might, I find myself looking up sites a lot, like websites and like popular baby names or whatever, something like that. And that's where I find some of my names. Other times I just overhear a name and I'm like, nice. All right, thanks for watching. Um, I'm Sophie, the author of A Note A Day on Wattpad. Um, you may know me as seriously underscore fandoms. The username is off of a Harry Potter character. I do know how to spell the word serious. Um, a frequently asked question. No, no, it's not even a question. It's a uh, grammar uh, correction most of the time. Um, I do know how to spell. I won my third grade spelling bee, so. Um, you did? I did, I did win it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm an author. <laughs> um, I yeah. wrote a book. <laughs> I wrote a book. I, I know how to spell. Um, so, thank you for uh, everything. Thanks for reading. Uh, One Million Reads is something that I've always dreamt of. Uh, I never actually thought that it would happen, which is, uh, even when it was at 998,000 reads, I was like, nah, it's gonna take another four years. Maybe, maybe. But um, it's still just like an incredible thing to think about. And I just can't believe that that many people have read it. And thank you for commenting and voting um, on all the chapters. And I love to read all your comments. I always try to reply to all of them I can. And please just keep that up. And thanks for watching. And have fun reading this uh, new edited chapter that I've included below. So, bye. <laughs>